a little bit loud in here, all right? A lot of people out, out and about here, and perhaps you know, maybe you're going to have some trouble hearing people right next to you, but maybe you're having trouble with that in general. If that's the case, Direct Hearing is probably a place you should be visiting, and Nina Lopayton is with us from Direct Hearing. Thank you so much for your time today. Pleasure is mine. Love to be out in the community helping people bring awareness to their hearing, um, and uh, what I offer for them. Yeah, and, and it seems, I mean, maybe it's just my perspective, but when I think about my health, I think about visiting my primary care pr provider, visiting my eyeglass doctor, get my prescription updated, but often hearing doesn't come into factor, and that could be really a big problem for people. So what are some of those signs of hearing loss that are more common and maybe people don't think about? Right, right, absolutely, and I have a little brochure that tells us about signs of hearing loss. People, uh, when you think that people are mumbling, when your family complains that the TV or radio are too loud, uh, when you have difficulty hearing uh, soft-spoken voices, women and children's voices and things like that, and or you have ringing or buzzings in, in your ears, oftentimes those are signs of hearing loss. And also, I mean, we use so much technology nowadays. I got an earpiece in right now. You can probably see it on your screen. Those can also be kind of problematic if people aren't using them safely. Now, how does that also factor into some of the hearing issues people may have today? Um, well, uh, safety, protecting your hearing is a number one, and hearing protection is important in terms of the loudness of the device you're using. Um, I also provide hearing protection for hunting and shooting and uh, activities like that to make sure we uh, keep it good, as well as for um, concerts and things like that if you're a music person. So we do have to work hard to keep our hearing good for as long as we can. And it's important to keep up on your hearing health, too, and get those regular checks. So when people are talking to an, aud an audiologist, they're talking to an expert about their hearing, what are some of the questions they should be asking or some things they should be keeping aware of when they're not at their doctor's visit to maybe make an appointment? Um, well, I offer, I try to preempt that because I offer a baseline hearing evaluation at no charge uh, because I feel it's very important for you to know where your hearing is at this point in time as opposed to waiting to when your family keeps yelling at you and saying you're not hearing and understanding me, uh, that, that we want to get it before that. And uh, I coach a lot of people in terms of make sure when you're talking to your loved ones you're in the same room and you can see the whites of your eyes because that's so very important. Don't, don't holler and call from another room. Uh, but I feel proactively the baseline test is where it's at. And in, in terms of the quality of life, how can your hearing not only impact the rest of your health, but impact that overall quality of life right. if you maybe let that slip away? Well, um, there are studies that show that untreated hearing loss is a factor in uh, dementia. So it is very important to keep connected. It's important to keep a person with hearing loss involved, otherwise they feel isolated and they pulled away. Uh, a person who potentially has the um, propensity to develop a dementia, to keep them connect connected and their brain cells working is, is huge. So community and connection is key in aging. That's why it's important to come on out today and, and consult with experts on these topics, including your hearing. Nina, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. You're very welcome.